Okay, patch note 0 0.9 came out. A lot of new changes, a lot of new stuff. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown, and then after this breakdown is pretty much in depth of me going into the cards. So, yeah, if you guys want the breakdown, here's the breakdown. So, champions got changed. Lux, Yasuo got changed. Lux got buffed. Yasuo got buffed. Um, combat spell for Demacia got nerfed. Uh, back to back got nerfed. That's the only one. Demacia, uh, Noxus cards got buffed. Uh, two mana two two and a two mana three three now. It is what it is. Deny big nerf. Uh, pretty happy about that. Everyone should be happy about that. Inspire Mentor got balanced. Uh, you can also call this a nerf. Hopefully, it's a big nerf. Uh, now it doesn't give you health. It gives you attack, but he also gained one extra health. Uh, Jewel Protector got buffed. It's a three four. Uh, it's a four four now. That's pretty good. Life Blade got nerfed, but Jew Protector got buffed. So I'm not too sure, but hopefully people don't play Life Blade no more because it's really annoying to deal with. Commander got nerfed. Uh, it comes more costly, but also gains a little bit more attack. The wording also got properly, you know, worded now, so that's nice. Uh, Ross got nerfed, costs a little bit more. Big Scuttle Crab got buffed. It's, it has fear some now. Torture Prodigy got buffed. Is a four a four attack now. Rav Caller got nerfed. It doesn't have fearsome anymore, which is really nice. And yeah, that is it for all the cards. Um, Expedition got changed a little bit. Um, just just cleaning up the stuff of trading cards and new cards at getting added to your deck. Um, EXP also got changed. Expedition EXP got nerfed. Um, PvP also got changed a little bit. EXP also changed for PvP. PvP. Uh, so now you always get EXP no matter how many wins you get. Because, you know, yeah, that's nice. Um, challenging friends now doesn't give you EXP, so you can't exploit it anymore. That's kind of unfortunate. Six wing gives you more rewards. Seven wings rewards got nerfed a little bit. And FPS changes and bug fixes. That's pretty much about it. And now, yeah, that's the quick breakdown. And the rest of this video is going to be more in depth to these changes. And yeah, catch you guys all later. Uh, every champion should have a deck where they're the best fit and their dream can be realized. Okay, that's kind of true. Non champion cards should have. At least one deck where they are a good option. That's that's that should be true. Regions should have at least one competitive viable deck. That should be also be true. The meta should support the widest possible ar array of competitive viable decks. That should, that, that, that's also pretty true. So that's what they're trying to do. So UI deck builder and uh and animations speed up the animations just to make things a lot easier. Probably some new uh, new UI fixes and debt making, so that's gonna be a lot better as well. Okay, card updates. That's just, this is the things that we came here for. Um, six mana, four five lux. So now it's gonna be a three mana of a three attack to four attack, four health to five health. I don't know. I don't feel like buffing her stats really changes a lux at all. Yeah, I don't think buffing up the, the stats of lux actually does much. First of all, Lux gets summoned with Barrier, so if you're not attacking on that turn, it's pretty much waste of like waste of summoning a Lux. And buffing the stats when she had Barrier really doesn't do much. Um, her when she levels up, she comes a five six, just one extra stat overall. I don't think this buff is that significant. Yeah, I don't. Lux might be played more, but it doesn't really change how powerful the card is itself. Like. Changing her stat line doesn't really do much other than it's a little bit harder to kill, but she's already really hard to kill with, with 4 health. Like, Black Spirit can't, can't kill it. You need to use 2 removal spells to probably kill her, and you're still going to use probably use 2 to kill a 5 health minion. I'm not too sure about it. I don't feel like this is even that good. Buffing Lux really doesn't do much to the card. I feel like you gotta change the effects somehow. Maybe change Final Spark to do some other stuff. But yeah, this is the... Uh, you know, card Lux buff. Don't think it's that good though. It's uh, we, we take those whatever. Yasuo got buffed. Um, your stunner recall six units now changed to five units, so he levels up when it's five units now. This is good. This is really good, but it might be a little bit too good. I feel like the Yasuo deck already stuns enough times. Making it achieve Yasuo faster is kind of yikes. <laughs> yeah, this, this is going to be a good buff. 
But I feel like Yasuo is already OP as itself. It's just that the deck, that was I call I only a Noxus deck, makes it so like it's really hard to draw Yasuo. That's the problem. Getting Yasuo into your hand is the problem, not actually triggering Yasuo's level up. I don't know. Let's see what they say. While testing Ionia changes in internally, we found out that Yasuo was catching collateral damage from changes aiming at the elusive and hand buff decks. Oh, so that's why they buff Yasuo. Okay. Oh, difficult to level up Expedition. Ah, that's why they changed Yasuo. I don't know. I feel like Noxus should be the only one that should work with Yasuo. Hmm. Yeah, this is a good buff though. Good overall. Nice buff. Back to back, yes. Five mana to six mana. Uh, I don't know about this. It is a good nerf, I like it. But I feel like that's not the nerf that we needed. Six mana to five mana really doesn't change much. I feel like it should be in a five mana, but instead of giving a 3-3, three, three, it should be a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's what they should have done. I don't feel like changing the cost will change that much. 6 mana 6-6 six, six is still really good. 5 mana 6-6 six, six is also really good. It should be like a 5 mana 4-4 four, four, or 6 mana 4-4. Four, four. I don't know. Back to back is still really good. And still a burst spell. So yeah. Still no counterplay to this. If you get smacked by this, you're gonna die. Um. Okay. Give all battling allies one attack. Made it easier to kill. Eh, I guess that's good. One, oh wait, no, no, they buffed it. Made it one health to two health. I guess it's just, oh, Noxus buff. Okay, more aggro Noxus is going to play this card, I guess. That's pretty nice. Um, another card I got buff. Three mana, three, three now, instead of two health. When survive damage, create a crimson unit in your hand. Okay, so this is the problem with this deck. Uh, the Vladimir deck kind of just sucks. I guess, I don't think this is going to help it that much, but eh, we could probably see play. Because the more damage they take, the more stats they gain, more attack stats they gain. Might be pretty good. I don't think it's going to change the deck that much or the meta. Deny. This is what we're looking for. Deny. Now it's a 4 mana card. 3 mana to 4 mana. That's nice. Good nerf. Good nerf. We take those. We take those. We take those. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, Inspire Mentor nerf. Okay. Okay. So it's a 2 mana. Wait. The health became 2 health. Instead of giving plus 1, plus 1, it gives it plus 1 attack. Uh, Inspire Mentor was providing too much curve efficiency and resilient to Ionia deck, okay? With stats granting to buff units. Too powerful a play, yes. This is good, this is good. I feel like Inspire Mentor itself should have gained stats, but I guess that's okay. It is good, but... Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's easier to remove the cards that they buff now because they don't gain health. That's good. That's good nerf, good nerf, good nerf. We take those. Jewel Protector, the, probably the one of the very last played cards. Changing it to 4 health and 4 attack will be better. This, is gonna, this card's going to give you a lot of value. A lot of value. It's a 3 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, no, 5 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. That's really nice. Pretty good. Life Blade. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, he got nerfed. But this card got buffed. So they're still going to buff this guy if they're going to play this card. I mean, I take the life play nerf so they can't play it too early, but... Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay, we take those, we take those, we can take those. I guess this is a good nerf, but if they're going to play Jew Protector, it's really not going to change too much about the deck. Because <laughs> they're still going to buff this guy and it's still going to be impossible to kill. I don't know. It might be a good nerf, but I feel like they shouldn't buff Ionia cards in general. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Commander got nerfed. 8 cost to 9 cost. Power went to 9. That really doesn't do much. Cut the... In okay, they changed the text. So now it's always rounded up. So now we know it's rounded up. Okay, that's good. Um. Okay, this card got nerfed. So it's pretty good now, I guess. Uh, it's a good nerf. So they can't always keep on spamming it. Making it a little bit... Making 9 mana does make it a lot harder to play. But I, also, I really don't see it getting played that often anymore so hmm it is a good nerf we take those uh that's the effect so the wording also just changed a little bit so that's whatever Ooh, ross got nerfed that is a good nerf uh seven mana now to eight mana so the removal comes one turn a little bit later it is pretty it's a good decent nerf eh, not bad not bad we take those we take those um okay big scuttle crap got changed so now it got fearsome 
Hmm. I guess that's pretty good, huh? If it has fearsome now, it is a lot harder to get. Yeah, cause you back then it could just be a zero mana five five, but like, you can always block it with those small ass cards. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. We take those. Torture prodigy, three power to four power. Eh. I don't think this card is still ever gonna be played. It doesn't matter what power you change it into. Yeah, I don't think so. Wrath Collar nerf, good, 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 good. That's a good nerf. Four mana, four three. Now it doesn't have the keyword fearsome. That's good. Okay, so that's it for the cards. So overall, Shadow Owls got hit literally everywhere. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five cards. Five cards in Shadow Owls got nerfed. I mean, five cards got changed. Three got nerfed. I think. Wait, is it three? One, two. Wait, actually. Yeah, one, one, two, three. Yeah, three ca cards got nerfed. Two cards got buffed. Uh, I only got changed. Two cards got nerfed. I mean, three cards got nerfed. One got buffed. This card really doesn't do much. I think this just cancels the nerf on Life Blade, which isn't too helpful. But eh, yeah, we can see. We can see what the meta brings us. Hopefully, people don't play Life Blade no more. Deny. Good nerf. Good nerf. We take those. Um, Nox's buff, two cards is what it is. Back to back got nerfed, pretty happy about that. Yasuo got buffed, pretty happy about that. Lux buff, I'm happy about that, but I don't think it's gonna change too much about it. And yeah, that's it for all the changes. So these are so expedition got changed a little bit, they added uh, some cards, and then they also changed how you could swap cards. So they added Chain Vest, they added uh, Might Alpha Wild Claw, and they removed this. So this could be swapped differently, this could also be swapped differently now. Shroom and Broom has been struggling lately, yes. Shroom and Broom has been struggling lately. They added Assembly Block, which is nice. Static Shock, which is also nice. Plaza Guardian is also really nice for Shroom Ducks. Remove Alchema Prodigy, and eh, Shredder, and eh. Get Excited is okay. I'm not too sure about Get Excited. Get Excited is a really good card because it's good removal, but okay. We can take that. EXP Expedition Rewards has been changed. Uh, zero wins now gives you 50. Okay. Uh, one win gives you 150. Okay, so they just nerf Expedition EXP. Hmm. Not too sure about that. Expedition Expedition EXP was really good. Hmm. Okay, that's that. Okay, I guess that's okay. Reduce EXP for daily PvP wins. Ooh. Oh, no, reduce EXP adjustments. Okay. So, um, 200, 100 for Expedition, okay, no change, okay, at 15 wins, you still get 4 EXP, that's nice. 20 wins, minus 100, that's fine. 30 wins, only still minus 100, okay, that's pretty good. 31 plus wins, minus 100, so you still get EXP no matter what, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's nice. Friend Challenge only grants 100 EXP for the first 5 wins, and 0 for the 6 plus, okay, I see. <laughs> so they nerfed um trading wins with your friends now. Okay, I guess. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Six, six expedition now rewards a hundred shards, more shards. That's good. And a random champion, a golden chest, unchanged. Okay. Uh, three hundred shards is, was three fifty. So they nerfed the seven uh seven wins as well as a champion capsule. Okay. Seven wins got nerfed, six wins got buffed. That's pretty nice. Um, FPS options got changed, whatever. Okay, bug fixes. Okay, that's it. Well, that's it for the changes. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this is helpful. And, you know, bring up the news of the new changes. And hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, I'll catch you guys all next time.